got plenty of water. And we've been digging since Tuesday last week. Uh, and then we're here till Friday. So, so the work. Your, your, your program is going to take how long? Um, so we'll, we'll have been digging for two weeks. Mm. And then it's possible in the next two years we might be able to extract we might be able to completely finish removing the bones of this one from the rock. And then we have to study them and understand them and compare them to other things. And we can ask questions like what type of dinosaur it is, and what size it is, and which dinosaurs is it related to, and what does it tell us about the history of dinosaurs and environments in South Africa. So there's some things we know right away. This thing is about the size of a rhinoceros. Yes. Um, and it lived about 200 million years ago, and it's a dinosaur, it's a herbivorous dinosaur. So we call these dinosaurs sauropodomorphs, and they were really abundant and common in South Africa. <laughs> so what they look like is, they walk on two legs, mm -hmm. they have ar quite big arms, yeah. they have a long tail, oh, okay. and they have a long neck, and the head is quite small, mm -hmm. um, and they would eat plants around in the environment. Uh -huh. yeah, they're quite common in South Africa in the right, correct age rocks. Um, so these rocks, when the dinosaurs lived, they were, they were walking on the land surface and when they died, some of them would be buried by mud, just the same as today there's mud coming down the hill and it buries things. And through time some of that mud was buried and turned into rock. And then later, the ground's been eroded away, so you can see the erosion continuing today. And that erosion has uncovered the dinosaurs again, a long time after. So what happened? Mama, yeah. how do you isolate it that now these two are different? So there's nothing, from this one we wouldn't be able to tell, but from the more complete skeletons, as we slowly extract the bones in the lab, uh, we can start to look at the anatomy. Mm. And then we can say this is a dinosaur, this is something else, when we get to look closely at all of the bones. Very big. Heavy. Like so the one I, I was holding the day before yesterday. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Yeah. Mm. 